Alright, I think I'm ready. How do I look? Well, you remind me of my fourth wife. Hey, have you looked in a mirror lately? What's the plan, Fala? Get your gear together. We will be going into the town shortly. There is a local warlord there. I know him well. We have done business in the past. All right, sounds like a plan. Do you remember Hilmi? He was with us in the Gondorian prison. We escaped together. Uh, I sort of remember him. He will be accompanying us. Get ready. We are good to go. All right, uh, so I'll get my gear together here. I have a lot of stuff and I really do need to organize it, but I figure we'll go through the town first. And, uh, you know, I'm probably going to get a lot more gear along the way, so, <laughs> you know, I'll try to keep this dealing to a minimum. You do that. We are trying to make friends, not enemies. All right, fair enough. Uh, all right, so let's get my stuff together here. And uh, I think we're generally good to go. Should I? Let's go with a runic bow. I haven't had one of those. And, uh, all right, I think we're good to go. I will organize my stuff as usual in the past. All right, I'll meet you outside. I'm going to go take a quick look. Oh, he's already set up shop here. Got some stuff. Wow. Lots of weapons and equipment. I guess maybe the Easterlings are, you know, in the market for some Haraja Magir. I don't know where everyone is. Maybe they're off tending the horses. Anyway, we're going to get ready, and I'll see you soon. What is your business here in our fair town of Kanlon, Haradrim? My name is Fala. We have come bearing goods from the far reaches of Middle-earth and wish to meet with your warlord, Hadi. Unfortunately, he is indisposed. There's a new warlord, Bashu. You'll need to discuss any arrangement with him. That is news. Where might we find this new warlord? He has a house near the town square. You cannot miss it. Mind yourself in town. Things are not as you may remember them. Open the gates! Many thanks. Enjoy your stay. Let's take a look around the town before going to see the warlord. Perhaps we can impress the townsfolk enough that they will put in a good word for us. Mike, try not to rob everyone blind. We're trying to make a good impression here. Well, I can promise to try. You better. All right, guys, let's do this. We're going to explore the city, and then we'll go and meet the new warlord. Hopefully, we'll find out some information along the way. And, well, you guys are already exploring. The place looks amazing. Did I just see someone? Let's try and see if we can make some more friends. How about that? Collect two steak. All right. Erasil? Is that what his name is? All right, I believe I might actually have two steak on me right now. Hopefully. Please tell me I have a couple steak. Ah, uh, no. Zero steaks. Well... Um, you know what? Maybe I can find some along the way. 
Got lots of chicken. You want some chicken by any chance? No? How about you? What do you have? I mean, what do you want? Slay 25 Dal Amroth Man at Arms. Let's decline that for now because we are nowhere near them. Um, all right, let's just sort of go house by house. <laughs> We're gonna take a look around. I'm gonna try to be nice about not stealing everything in the place. But you know, I get tempted sometimes. Let's take a look up here. What did it, what do they got up here? Anything in the way of steak? The runic chest plate, already got one. Let's be nice. Again, we'll try not to uh, make enemies before our time. I do really want one of these though, and I think I might actually have one as well. What do they have in the market? A stone mason, what do you have? Runic brick, which is very cool. The sandstone, you buy, you buy steak. Urgh. I would like to get some steak myself. A huntsman, you have raw beef. Oh, four. So that could definitely help me out. If I can't find any steak, I can come back here and pick some up. And, uh, well, you bought, that's kind of weird. I guess obviously you're a hunter, right? So you want to hunt. Hunter's going to hunt. Another huntsman. He also has raw beef, which is, well, a thing. The blacksmith. Oh, you have quite a lot of stuff here. And I don't really need any of it. Well, it's already raining. Fishmonger. Lots of different kinds of fish and leather boots. For some reason, I guess you caught some boots. <laughs> well, that's a thing. Stonemason. Yeah, more of the same. What are you, what are you? What do you got? This is a very awkwardly built stall there, sir. The Huntsman also, again, you got the whole raw beef thing. All right. The Butcher. Hold on a second. Oh, again, exactly the same. All right, a butcher and a huntsman, what's the difference? I don't know. Hunter's hunt and butcher's butch. <laughs> okay, let's take a look through these houses again. This is not very nice weather right now. Uh, 15 rabbits. I will definitely accept that. 12 Gondorians. You know what? I'll accept that too. It may take me a while, but I'll get it done. What did you just say? I wish I was still a strong young man like you, but I can't accept your help until you help. Oh, I have too many quests. All right, actually, you know what? Hold on. Miscellaneous? Where's my little quest book? Why do I have so many quests? Uh, Rundel, Rundel, Rundel. Near Harad. Let's cancel that Near Harad one. All right, we got the cooked fish. I feel like maybe those were from another place. Let's just abandon those for now, the cooked fish. And we'll try and do some of the ones in this vicinity. You know, that makes more sense. All right, let's take a look at a few more of these houses. We are on the lookout for some fresh meat. Well, actually cooked, preferably. Hello, ma'am, sir. Slay 10 deer. I haven't really seen any deer around, but wait, go and slay 10 deer to prove your strength and skill. Have I seen any deer around? Not really. Probably not worth it for me. Again, let's take a look upstairs. Got any beef? Nope, nope, no. Nope. All right. Voila, what's up? What are you doing, my friend? Why are you walking into these people's houses? Well, it's what I do. It's how I live my life in Middle Earth. Who are you to say anything? You're a slaver. Uh, leather hat, some olive bread, a bow. Yeah. See, I'm being nice. I'm not stealing anything. Mainly because there's nothing I want at this point, but, you know, <laughs> there might be. I might have to resist temptation at some point. Man, they're really... No, we're really not successful in the beef hunt. I guess it's not that important. I'm going to go out and slay some rabbits in a minute. Uh, what did you want? Collect six sulfur. Eh, pass on the sulfur. Uh, three bread... I, I, yeah. See? Resisting temptation in the form of bread. This is a very, very cool place, though. I have to say, excuse me, sir. I'm just going to barge my way into your house. Okay. I really don't see any beef here at all. I'm guessing Easterlings either don't like beef or, you know, I don't know. Maybe they just, they don't keep it in their house. Maybe that's it. They all eat out. I have everything but bomb pomegranates. I almost said pomegranate. You guys have pomegranates? And what would you like me to do? Collect six olive bread. Eh. 
Well, maybe I can do that. I saw a bunch back there, although it would involve me stealing. What is happening here? Alright, we don't really need to go through every single house, honestly. Well, two olive bread. Ugh, maybe. In fact, you know what? Maybe I can, like... What can I give you in return? Maybe that's, that's the thing to do. I can, uh... Well, I'll take some of my I'll take some of my cooked rabbit here, and uh, actually, you know what? Some dates. How about you take some dates in return for the two olive bread? I'll give you two dates. Sound good? That's fair, right? Why are we wasting time? Let's go kill some rabbits. All right, good point. Good point. Collect fourteen feathers. Man, there's a lot of really weird quests these people want me to do. Gotta be honest. One final gilded iron. Uh, I keep wanting to take this, but, you know. All right, so let's run back out very quickly. It's raining anyway. You know, it's not that fun to explore when it's raining. Let's go kill some rabbits. In fact, hold on. We really don't need to be using my mithril spear to kill rabbits. So let's just run out here. Actually, we should probably go. Hey, where did that guard go? Where did you go? Where's your friend, man? You just take off? This is the guy who wasn't even gonna let me in. Now you just take off? Hello, rabbits. How many rabbits did I need to kill? Let me quickly check. Uh, 15 rabbits. All right. This is gonna be fun. Rabbit slaughter part two, maybe three? I don't remember. There's a lot of people who got a hate on for rabbits in Middle Earth. I realize this is not the epitome of action, but it's still pretty fun for me. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to fight enemies who won't fight back or don't know how to. I think I'm probably over 15, but I don't feel like I want to stop. Hooey! Rabbits are good as far as food goes as well. I mean, they're fairly easy to kill. They're filling. Kind of gamey, but otherwise generally not that bad. I see number 14 right there. Hooey! Oh, what a shot. Here we go. We're at 15! Just, just go overboard a little bit here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Alright, we have already completed our quest. Quest number one. And quest number two is going to be probably just buy some steak and finish that one as well. Gondorians are going to have to wait. What about you? Are you the one? Yes! Alright, we're at 78! You've proven yourself. I will consider you a brother on the battlefield. When the time comes, here is a token of my respect. Take this money. I'll go buy some steak and then uh, cook it up real quick. We'll complete that one as well. Who? You had steak, right? Uh, do I not have cash on me? Where is my money? Why is my money pouch so big? Oh, so I have a lot of change. That's why. Hi. Let's do a little trading. Markets of the East! Alright! So I got two steak. Do you have the two missing steak yet? Oh, shh. I had to uh, cook them up. Forgot about that. Excuse me. I'm just gonna come into your house for a second and cook some steak. Probably. Ooh. Okay. Avoiding temptation again. Resisting, avoiding. You guys okay with this? <laughs> Come on, we're making friends. I'm helping you out. I mean, when the warlord hears that I am helping out the citizens of this town, he's going to be happy, right? Don't worry, I'm not stealing anything. In fact, I'm giving something back to the community. Was it you? Maybe it's you. Yes! Mini quest completed. We're now at 82. All right, that did not help me a lot, but man, what a beautiful day. Okay, the sun is already going down. Well... Not going down, but it's getting there. All right, so we've completed two quests. I'd like to actually ideally get quite a bit more if possible, but collect five. Oh man, did I not leave those dates? I had five dates and I left two. <laughs> Let's take this, I'm gonna steal them back. Collect nine dates. Yeah, I guess I could. Sure, why not? I can probably find those like right here. Is this one? Is that a, is that a chrysanthemum? Pink chrysanthemum. I found one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try and find two. There's probably another one over here somewhere, right? More flowers around here. What do you want? 
Oh, no, don't, 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 don't shoot that person. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. Man, I gotta really be careful about that. Doing that often. Let's just sort of be careful. All right, what did you want me to get? 93 cobblestone. You know what? I'm gonna accept that. I'm definitely gonna accept that. Oh man, look at this place. It's like the city square. Oh, look at this garden. That is amazing. Fala, what do you think? Tell me, this place is awesome. Look at this. Why don't you guys have these in Harad? Oh, I'm gonna... No one looking, right? Oh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, it's been a while. Although I just was standing in the rain, so I guess it's not that good. All right, two pink chrysanthemums. One more coming up. I gotta go find those dates. <laughs> Let's go back and do the chrysanthemums. We'll turn that in. All right, one more down. What did you want? Um, well, what exactly were you looking for? You're probably looking for the cobble. All right, we're gonna run outside. Uh, well, it's getting dark. You know what we'll do? Hey, Fala, let's actually, well, maybe we can, is there an inn here somewhere? We can stay in the inn tonight. We'll leave the rest of the Haradrim in their camps and we'll try and stay at the inn. There's probably one, Maybe down at the end here? These all look like houses. Wait, this looks like a tavern. All right, come on in boys. We got ourselves a tavern, maybe we can have a drink and then just chill out for the night here. In the morning, I can go back and get some cobble and then we can get this stuff done. What do you got? White wines, oh, sour milk, <laughs> olive bread. How many did I need? I need a four, so we can just buy those, why not? I'll buy myself some wine. And uh, you guys can get your own drinks, right? You're already on the table. In fact, you're on a glass. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have a drink, and then I'm gonna chill here for the night. In the morning, oh yeah, that was good. But not good enough, apparently, because I am not drunk. Long ago, the men of Numenor rode into our lands and enslaved our forefathers. But the time is soon coming when we shall have our vengeance. Can you guys get out of what is going to be my room? Out. <laughs> what do you have to say? There is talk of war in the south, Mind of Mike. Are you ready to take up arms against Gondor? I am absolutely ready. Are you ready to watch me sleep? Because that's what's about to happen. Good night, folks. I'll see you in the morning. All right, as it turns out, I couldn't sleep a wink. That tavern was so loud. People wandering in and out of my room. So I just kind of gave up and decided, you know what? We're going to run out here and see if we can't get ourselves maybe a little bit of cobble and try and complete that last quest. We're going to try and find a cave. You guys, you guys still with me? <laughs> Sorry, Vala, dragging you along with me, but hey, it's for the greater good. Maybe the greater bad, whichever way you want to look at it. Hopefully there are some caves around here somewhere. All right, so let's just throw a torch up here. And then I'm gonna do some digging. I gotta get something like 90 cobble. So I'm gonna dig my way through this wall and the surrounding area and hope, to, oh God, and hope that nobody dies. Fala, get back here. Please do not mess around. I do not want you to die. That would be bad for everybody, especially for you. Get a few extra just in case. I'm realizing I actually don't have any cobble at all on me. And it would be fairly useful to have a bit extra. So we're just gonna finish up this pickaxe. And then I think we're good. Run back inside, turn in my quest, and then uh, run back and get some sleep. And that should give me a decent leg up here as far as alignment goes. Is it you? Yes, I'm an Easterling champion. 114, all right. We are definitely moving up here, moving up in the world. Collect two blue chrysanthemums, why not? Slay 10 men of Dale. Hmm. Maybe. Do I see a blue one right here? In fact, I see what looks like two right here. All right, awesome. More quests probably down in a second. Done. All right, I'm feeling much better. Oh, let's get out of here. So we're gonna head back to camp and I will see you guys in the morning.
Well, we slept a little bit later than expected, but we're heading into town now to talk to the warlord, the new warlord, and see if we can't make some kind of deal. Right, Fala? How are we gonna find him? Just look for the house with the most guards. It will be near the city square. All right, sounds like a plan. Let's do this. Hey, the guard's back. Where did you go? You on break yesterday or something? What's wrong with your pants? Nothing, huh? All right, so city square probably around here somewhere. It's where all the bigger houses are. All the rich people. Uh, no thank you. I do not want to discuss a deal with you at this point. I see a house. These are some nice houses, but I do see a house right here with some guards. And some kind of woman who is freaking out in front of the door. Hi. Is this where the warlord is? Possibly. What business do you have with him, stranger? Well, I want to talk to him. I'd like to make a deal. We are from Harad. This is Fala. He is, well, over there looking not interested right now, but we'd like to talk to the warlord. You may enter. Sheathe your weapons. Don't try anything stupid. All right, weapons away. Let's do this. Well, well, Southerners. So far from home, and what might you be doing in my little town? I am but a humble trader who has brought weapons, armor, and goods from the far reaches of Middle Earth for you and your people. We have been coming here for many years at the request of your predecessor. Let me show you something. You see that skull behind you? That is what is left of my predecessor. He was a warlord who, when tested, discovered that he could not make war. Any deal you had died along with him. We have all the weapons and equipment that we could ever need. Surely there is something you need, my lord. We have many rare items that a man of your position may find himself in need of. The jungles of Harad hold many secrets. Hmm. Perhaps there is something. Since arriving here, Many of the traders in surrounding areas refuse to recognize my authority. The Darwinians in particular have suspended all contact with me and refuse to honor previous contracts. Perhaps those deals died with your predecessor as well. Be very careful what you say next. You are still alive because I have a proposition for you. One that may benefit us both. I wish to send a message to a certain group of Darwinians. A very subtle message. There is a large vineyard just across the border. I want you to burn it to the ground. I dare not risk sending my own people. They will be instantly recognized and angering the elves will be a death sentence. You, on the other hand, are not men of rune. Do this thing for me. You have yourself a deal. We will buy all your goods at a fair price. That is indeed generous, my lord. Give us the exact location of this vineyard and it will be done. What? Are you? Not now. It will be done. See that it is. Here is a map. Bring me back a few barrels of good wine while you're there. As proof of your actions, my men will supply you with Darwinian attire. That will help you get past the guards. And trust me, there will be guards. Why is nothing ever easy? We have ourselves, I guess, a new quest. It's gonna be interesting, that's for sure. But if we can get this done, if we can do it right, we will have it in. We will definitely have some cash. Fala, wherever you are, you better hook me up if we do this, all right? Because, you know, this is gonna be one of the more dangerous things we've ever tried. We do not want to mess with the elves if possible. It is morning again here in Rune. I have prepared myself as much as possible for the dirty deed we have to do for that warlord. I have got my inventory organized. I have got my horse and we are ready to go. I am just waiting for Fala and Hilmi. Uh, oh, is that them over here? Hey Hilmi, what's going on? Where's Fala? He is not coming, my friend. Of course he's not, why not? He says he has other things to do. That is a typical leader. So it's just you and me? It is. We must do this together. Are you ready? Well, I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. Let's get out of here. Let's do this. 
you're gonna ride like the wind and uh, just try and get there as quickly as possible and get this done and get back because I don't want to waste any more time. Hilmi and I spent the next few days traveling north towards the Darwinian border. He was a good companion and we quickly became fast friends. He had been with Fla for many years and knew much of the lands of Middle Earth. Finally, we arrived at the border and glimpsed across the river our destination. A giant vineyard stretched out before us as far as the eye could see. With a little trepidation, we donned our disguises and waited somewhat uncomfortably for nightfall. So what's the plan? We are going to sneak through the vineyard to the far side. Then we are going to light it up and run like blazes back to the horses. Sound good? Well, it sounds okay, I guess. Let's do this. Oh, that water's cold. I think my outfit's gonna shrink. Don't be ridiculous. There's no way these things could shrink anymore. <laughs> I hate you, but you're probably right. Oh my god, why are there so many people around? What is there, a party? You guys never sleep. I think we're probably gonna be okay with the local populace. It is the guards we need to be careful of. We do not want to get too close to them. Hill me especially, you are not gonna fit into this place. We want to head for those structures over there and try and... Well, steal some wine for that stupid warlord. I really, really hope this is worth it. I seem to be doing a whole lot of work for other people in Middle-earth. It doesn't really help me at all in the long run. Okay, let's be really careful. And it's very, very frustrating. I seem to be working for everyone else except myself. Tell me. Act natural. They're gonna give any guards we see a wide berth. As long as we don't get too close to them, we should be okay. We are in disguise. Okay. I think we've made it. Heal me, all right? I'm good, let's keep going. Okay, I'm gonna try and get into this building right here. And hope, let's take a peek through the window. Okay, there's a woman in there and she's not looking at us right now, so we're gonna steal some wine. Go, go, go. Don't worry, we're just making a delivery, ma'am. Late night delivery, someone's got a party in the vineyard. Oh, there really are a lot of people. Okay, let's put this axe away. We don't want to look suspicious. There's another guard there. We're going to make our way in. And we're going to be try... We're going to try to head for the center of the vineyard. And then we're going to start some fires. I see... Oh, that's not a guard. Again, we want to be very careful here. Go! I see a guard up ahead, but he's patrolling the other way. Make sure we don't get too close to him. He's going the other way. Yes, he is. Okay. Keep moving. Keep an eye out. Oh god, another guard coming. Go, go, go. Okay, I think we're good so far. There's another guard there, but we're going to really, really keep moving here. Again, as long as they don't get too close, we'll probably be okay. Okay, still good. Rabbit scared the crap out of me. Lots of rabbits in the vineyard. Okay, let's move fast. Okay, there's another guard down here and he's coming this way. We gotta sort of head over a little bit here and get into the center. We'll follow this row and make sure... Okay, there's the guard. He is going. Let's take a look real quick. Yep, he's definitely leaving. Alright, we're gonna move fast. Go, go, go. Okay. I think we probably are okay. Let's sort of scout ahead just a little bit and make sure we're not gonna get interrupted by too many guards. Okay, just a lot of people here. Okay, let's get ready. You ready for this? Kill me. Get back here. I'm gonna start some fires. I do not want to set you on fire by accident, so let's do this. Go, go, go. Come on. And light some fires. Don't worry, Darwinians. We are just keeping warm. Hoi. Ugh. Keep going. Okay, no one's seen us so far. I don't know who's on fire there, but it's not me. There are a lot of people here. My god, what are all you people doing? 
Okay, be very careful. Hold intruders! Crap, help me, we've been spotted. What do we do? Guards, come quickly! They are burning the vineyard! You will not escape! After them, men! This area is swarming with guards! We must run back! Through the fire! Run, run, run! Go, go! 